Mm. Kara was also there observing, definitely. So when we come back, my name was published in New Vision. I didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I did not sleep. Mm -hmm. That's I a big not. deal. Was, my grandfather bought five papers that day. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure he kept one at office at his office at the school, one at home. He gave everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dream come true. Aww. So, I'm good at making friends. Yes. I made Sebide my friend. Yes. He also noticed this young girl with an urge of maybe making it in life, mm. doing several things. So we became friends. In the process, they had introduced an English channel and they were trying to come up with a name for the channel. Mm -hmm. So there is a gentleman called Opio. Right now he writes for Trevor Noah. Uh, Mary Luswata, mm -hmm. there was Sheila, there was um, Duncan Kushaba. Duncan was writing for New Vision, mm -hmm. but now he crosses to TV. Duncan was the gentleman who went for Big Brother Africa sometime that, back. Duncan if, Kyle? Kyle, mm -hmm. yes. So we try to come up with names. Hey, finally Opio comes up with Urban. Mm -hmm. Eh, the name is good, okay, yes. There was Bush. Uh, there are some of the people on, uh, in XFM. So what happens is uh, they tell us to come up with nice shows that would be good for the station. Mm -hmm. So I could not sleep. I am good at writing if I put in my time. So I was part of the team that wrote Skizzy. But now they tell me results are out. Months had gone. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd been admitted at Makere University on education. An education scholar has 13 course units to offer. Yes. It's more like someone in senior six. Yeah, that's So I had to be at school because the timetable was scattered within the day. They tell me you won't be able to work on this. First, because the grammar was not, not so good. Mm. Secondly, because, ah, because of school, I cried. Mrs. James, the, they all know me at Bukit de la Casasa. I told them, oh my God. <laughs> ah, it was very bad. So what happens? Mm. I was so depressed. But on my way to campus, I discovered there were so many youth, I mean teen shows, but there was no campus show. So that night I go back and start writing campus one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. When I write campus one-on-one, -on -one, it gets a sponsor, East Africa University. They made me shoot three canvases. Mm -hmm. Then it got a sponsor right away, East Africa University, mm -hmm. and close up. That's how I began TV. Well done. You did not give up, clearly. I never give up. Mm -hmm. I don't give up. Mm -hmm. Giving up is not part of me. <laughs> yes. OK. Mm. So you started. But then still, how were you balancing this with school? Now, Campus 101 is not a daily show. It was a, 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 weekly, a weekly show, mm -hmm. Saturday, and it was within university. Okay. But even still, I got retext mm -hmm. at campus. So the first time I was fired from work, I cried. I felt bad about it, but it was good in a way that I got time to cover all those retexts and did them. And so was this After, like in your second year? No, that was in my, in my third year. Your third year? Yeah. You were struggling to balance? Okay. I was struggling to balance. Mm -hmm. So I finish my retakes. Yeah, I graduate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You say that, you know, and it's funny how I keep hearing this more and more from different people that being fired at some point in your life is actually a good thing. Because yes. it lets you do something else. At that particular time, it is the worst thing that yeah, can ever happen you've... to you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what mm. am I going to do? I'm going to kill myself. Oh my God. How do, well, you know with campus, how am I going to tell my friends now I no longer work on campus one-on-one? -on -one? Mm -hmm. But it, it, let me tell you, Crystal, everything that has been in my life, it was there for a reason. Mm. I have seen it for a reason. Everything has contributed to something. Yes. Okay. Mm. All right. So that means you worked there two years? About two years? I worked there three years. Three years? Yes. In, in that process, I was fired once. Then finally, I was fired. Was there a reason for being fired? Was it just performance Change on of the management. Show? Okay. Change of management. You know how it is when different managers come in and now they think, oh, well, we should do better. Mm. But 
Yeah, I am humbled that the person who took over the show until now, he is he's still hosting it. I see MC Kasme and he's doing a good job. There's a time when I went for Buzz Teams Awards and I was one of the winners. Mm -hmm. He knelt down for me. It was magical. Wow. Because then for the youths, I didn't know what I was doing then designing that show, but now I am I have I met I created something that has been around for the last almost ten years. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. It is a good feeling. Okay. So now you finish? You know, you, I finish. You focus, you did your retakes. I finish, but uh, Record TV had given me a, a platform. Oh, okay. So I go to Record TV for six months. Mm -hmm. What we had agreed upon is not what was applied. Like, you know, mm. uh, someone tells me, ah, ah, enwali e chitambula, come to Delta TV. Okay. I go to Delta TV mm -hmm. for three months. <laughs> Okay. I don't regret mm -hmm. because it's from Delta TV that so many people moved to Spark TV. Someone had spotted me. Oh, so what were you doing at Record TV? Record TV, I was doing a sh on Record TV. I was doing Katogo. Okay. That show Douglas Ranga used to host. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Then you moved. But I didn't replace him. I replaced Jackstar. Oh. Yes. So from there, I moved to to Delta because now they were telling me they need some sort of. Um, Tits and Beats news show mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. needs someone who has been on TV. Okay. So I go to Delta where I, I stayed for three months. Then Spark TV calls me. Okay. It took me three months before they took me in. Mm -hmm. I went through the interviews, I passed them. Agi Konde was like, mm, you want to move a reporter? But sometimes they were like, she's good. Mm -hmm. So we begin. We get paired up with Toto. And that's where the breakthrough comes from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you had to keep proving yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had to keep proving myself. Why? Because I did not have so many people who are saying, let her be because she's looking good. Like, okay, let, let's, let's, let's just give her this slot because people love this brown girl who is going, who has a very beautiful body on TV. It was me to prove that I will, I can, I have done this for the management first to accept and then the people at home to love me. Mm -hmm. So it went back to me being who I am. Mm -hmm. And that's my slogan, life yeah. slogan, mm -hmm. that be you, the world will adjust. Because also if you're all over the place, huh? Yes. So why i'm asking like you if you felt like you had to keep proving yourself because you keep saying people are like oh no maybe she doesn't fit here or oh, maybe yes. she doesn't know enough yes so where did you get the confidence from because i you get said you never give up yes but it's surprising that i get confidence from rejection i get confidence from a no yeah. from resentment mm. i've always gotten confidence from that okay so you're like, how can you say no? How can you tell me I can't? Yes. Let me show you. Yes. Okay. Where do you get that from? Is it from your mom, your dad? Is I there anyone know, else but, like that? But I feel like, yes, I can do it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, every time I get a downfall, resentment or rejection, mm -hmm. I come up with something good. Okay. There are challenges. Challenges uplift me. They make me do good things. I don't know why. Mm. Sometimes when they take long to happen. I love being challenged. That's what I can say. So if things are all going well, you feel like so, ah, something's missing? I feel good about things going well. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I wouldn't want bad things to happen to me. Yes. But when they happen, also good things happen. <laughs> that's what I can say. Mm. OK, that's mm. a good way to look at it. Yes. All right, so your time, you did education, you tried and did a stint with teaching. At no point did you think maybe I can try this? Try teaching? Mm -hmm. Man, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but I can teach. I find myself teaching girls. I, I, I teach. I come from a family of teachers. My, my aunties are lecturers. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's still there somewhere. It is there. So what was the pull from TV about? What was it? Why did you want to be on TV? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. I felt like I can do. I I can do that. I always so struck her mm -hmm. when I was still young, and I was like, okay, I can do that. Previously on Crystal One on One.
right? I think I've been listening to a lot of motivational speakers who tell us failure is part of the path to success. Because yes. if you don't know how to make a decision, evaluate it, get up, make another decision, then you're not living life. Mm -hmm. You're not living life. You're not going to risk. You're not going to learn. And you're not going to be able to pass on good advice to other people, mm. right? Yes. So, yeah, I mean, it was the biggest challenge, sending my boys across the oceans back to the UK. Um, you know, I tell people jokingly, but it's kind of true. I gave them a one-way ticket. I cannot define how, how it feels. I cannot define the call. I, I don't know but I felt like I can do it. Okay. That's the urge, mm -hmm. yes. You said you also wanted to do radio. Yes, I tried radio mm -hmm. at Balam's radio station. It's As? Radio 4. Okay. But I guess because the schedule, now TV had eaten much of my time and life. I found so much love for TV as compared to radio. Mm -hmm. But I got a chance and he was a good manager. Mm -hmm. I. I tried. You tried it? See yes. It was for you? I think if I set myself very well, I can do it. Okay. Mm. But it also takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, mm. yes. Mm. Mm. A lot of time and dedication. Yeah, but because it came in a period when I am caught with uh, so many projects, women projects, I have projects, I, I lead women for her, an organization. Okay. So I was scattered. Okay. Did I you found that organization? Pardon? Women for her. Yes. Yes. Is that your organization? I shouldn't say it's mine. I okay. lead it. Huh? I lead. I lead. You lead a it. team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, what I did is, I figured I needed, um, I needed time. I, I think I need time. I need to give it time. Radio equally needs time as TV. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And TV, you felt like you had found your place where? Yes, I found my place, and um, I decided to not to over make myself busy, give something priority and get the best out of it. Mm -hmm. But I'll try radio years to come, I think. Okay, mm. okay. So you said you met your husband at university. Yes, why do you want to take me in my husband's <laughs> conversations? <laughs> no, because you said you met him then. Yes, I met him at, I met my husband at university. Mm -hmm. We were in the same hostel. Oh, okay. So he's, he was a few doors next to mine. <laughs> he was staying in that room. Okay. Until now. All right. And he has seen you grow, that means. Yes. And you know why I love him so much? Mm. He was there during all the downfalls. Okay. As a young boy at campus, I was expecting him to leave the very first time I lost that job at Urban TV. He didn't. Okay. He didn't. You are expecting him to leave? Yes. Why? I don't know. You know, young people, mm. maybe they would want you because you work on mm. TV, but he has been around. Yeah, I thought maybe he liked that you, yes. the TV you are. Yes, mm. but he has been around. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were saying before that, you know, if someone finds you when you're not on TV or you don't have meetings, uh, you don't wear makeup, you're, you've cut your hair, you're trying to go natural, and that is another side of you people don't get to see often. Do you f find like it's too much work? Mm -hmm. let, me t let me tell you something. Actually, people know a different version of me in real life. Because mm -hmm. I have shops in town. Okay. But they know when they find me, some, some get up. Oh, manange. You understand? <laughs> but that is me. And that's mm -hmm. how I want to be. I mm -hmm. don't do things for people. I do things for me. Okay. Like I said, be you. Mm -hmm. The world will adjust. That's my slogan. I always use it. Okay. So, I apply makeup in the right times mm -hmm. when I'm comfortable with it, mm -hmm. but not because people have to see me with makeup. Because mm -hmm. yes. you know there's that expectation of, of us women in yes. media. Yes. They expect you to always look, look the, hot. Mm -hmm. The in hair heels. Has to be perfect. In heels. Too much work. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you have shops in town. You're a businesswoman as well. That's my husband's side. Okay. Mm. Either way, you're very quickly. <laughs> Okay. Yes. So your, I, hus your husband is in business? My husband is in business, mm -hmm. though he's a quantity surveyor. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he didn't practice. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your, your little one. You have one daughter? I have a daughter, okay. Mushi Mushi. 
Kuchi Kuchi Mushi Mushi. <laughs> what is happening with these names? <laughs> I, I oh, have a little okay, one. Then, mushi Mushi. We are three years now, mm -hmm. and we talk a lot. Okay. Yeah, whenever she watches me on TV, she says, Mami Wange, you are Natalila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a little one. Okay. Mm. Oh, the smile alone. <laughs> yes. You know, it's, it's, it's beautiful seeing her smile, taking those beautiful photos of her. But I decided to give her a benefit of doubt. Mm. I wouldn't want her to be judged by what I have done. Okay. I also wanted to give her the power to choose what she wants. Okay. So I decided not to own her. She will own me when the right time comes. Okay. For example, if she turns 18 or 12 and she would want to, to let the world know that I'm the mother, mm. she will put put it out. Okay. And so, the world will be surprised. So you don't share any pictures of her? She needs her privacy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And same for your husband as well. Yes. Because I remember you saying that you're very private about your relationship. And mm -hmm. many times on this show, I've talked about how important it is to protect, mm -hmm. especially if you work in this space, mm -hmm. to protect your home, to protect your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see. So many people saw my husband on my introduction day. As in because people didn't even know you were dating or... So many people, who, my friends, people in my circle knew mm. because they had seen us grow. They had seen us get from university and then now pregnancy and um, they see us. We're always out. My husband is my, one of my best friends. Yes. But it's not a must that to show that we are well off in a relationship, it's supposed to come on social media. Yeah, you have to post it on social no. media. Mm -hmm. No, that's not how things are. But you see, a lot of people are doing that, though. It's, it's not right. Mm -hmm. Then what's going to happen when you get dis when you divorce or when you get some issues? You're going to come and explain to us that now to <laughs> No. Mm. Oh, yes. You don't owe your happiness or sadness to to anyone. Mm -hmm. It's you and maybe your partner and God, mm -hmm. the most important people. When you talked about, you know, you were worried about your pregnancy because of the operation that you had had. Yes. Did you have any complications or you were fine completely? I had C, C mm -hmm. A C section. Section, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was okay. Okay, so you I didn't have... I got too much support from my husband during my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Too much support. Okay. I actually want to thank him. Mm. Yes. Okay.